So, the first question that I got was, have you thought about doing, I need to move over. Okay. If you follow me on social media, you've probably seen this coat like 300 times. I don't care. I'm obsessed with it. It's so warm and cozy and it's so big. Like, I look like I'm 400 pounds more than I am. But anyways, yes. So today I'm going to be filming a QA. and uh, I'm not wearing too much makeup. I just wanted to be, you know, chilled back and just, yeah, just a chill video. So... I asked you guys on my YouTube channel and also on my Instagram to send me any questions you wanted to have answered. So I'm going to read those out for you. Okay, so the first question is, have you thought about doing personalized workout plans for people? So for those of you that might not know, I actually have my own fitness blog slash Instagram page. It's in my other Instagram's bio. I don't really promote it too much, but I graduated from university in marketing communications, not in the sciences. So I feel like I'm not qualified to sell people advice and I wouldn't want to like sell a program or something just to make money when I am not certified myself in fitness and health. I worked at a gym for two years but that still doesn't give me the qualifications to like tell someone what to do. Some of my friends, if they have questions about health and fitness, they'll ask me and I'll tell them or if they want a workout program or like a workout, like if they want advice on what to work out or if they want like a little mini program for free, like obviously I'll give them it if I have time, but I would never actually want to sell a program because I'm not qualified and I just really respect the science uh, the science behind fitness and health and I just really respect people that have gone to school for it they've done kinesiology or or even like a bio and whatnot and so I wouldn't want to yeah I just wouldn't want to give advice to people because I don't think I'm qualified to so if you do want some help or some free advice on workouts and and like the bare basics I will gladly help you out. I love helping people. That's what the whole part of my fitness blog was, was to, you know, inspire people and to be a positive voice of reason to people. So I would love to help you out, but I don't think I would ever sell or make personalized workout plans that I would sell. But I would definitely give like a personalized workout plan to someone if they, if they wanted just like a bare basics type of workout and, and how to eat properly. But also you can Google those things. So, the answer is, I guess, no. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at myself in the viewfinder. I just want to make sure that I'm in the camera because I'm pretty tall. So, the next question is, what are your biggest goals for the next year? And that is a really big question. I think, for myself, personally... Education wise and professionally, I really want to grow my YouTube channel and I really want to grow my Instagram and social media. But I also, I'm going back to school in September and so I think my biggest goal for that would be to apply to really big PR agencies and really well known PR firms and get a job and start working full time right after I'm done school. That's been my biggest goal the whole time I've been in school and even when I was in my undergrad so I think for me landing the job I've always wanted is a really big goal so that's my like professional education goal for I think I also want to grow my relationships and my friendships and not be afraid to cut people off who are toxic or who don't reciprocate the feelings or the friendship or relationship that I give them I think that's really important to, to be selfish in that way of making sure that you're happy and that you're surrounded by positive people because when you're surrounded by negative people you're going to be more negative and negative things happen too. I just really believe in the law of attraction 
and I think that when you want something and when you want to attract something it's gonna come whether that's positive or negative you kind of are the the deciding factor of that so I really just want to you know make sure that all my friendships are you know pristine and are up to my standard I think also too like not really a fitness goal but maybe my mental health being like a hundred percent yeah sometimes I'm down on myself and, and having like an Instagram page and having a YouTube channel you have to sort of always be on and always be happy and and bubbly in front of the camera and whatnot and so I just really want to make sure that I'm posting when I want to which is exactly what I am doing and posting the content I want and not changing who I am for other people that's a big thing and it just yeah being happy is my life goal and that's a goal that I'm gonna be pursuing forever I don't know that you'll ever fully achieve happiness because I think you know when you when you want something and you actually get it that's the epitome of happiness that you're gonna get and you really won't go any farther up so I'm not trying to constrain myself or constrain my happiness because I really just I want to make sure that I'm always happy and that I'm all around feeling good and that means that I am going to have bad days because when you have a bad day you realize that you will have a good day and you and you can really appreciate the good days too so I think just having a steady happiness and, and just being comfortable with my life and myself is the biggest thing especially with I mean not to be vain but how I look I do struggle with a lot of insecurities that I don't show but I think that's one of my biggest goals for this year is being happy oh. <laughs> I'm like looking for the question over there it's on my phone so the next question is why do girls drink coffee why do girls drink iced coffee in the winter I drink iced coffee all year round that's all I drink I don't really like hot coffee unless it's a freezing cold day and I have no other way to get warm than to have a coffee but I don't know it tastes better when it's iced it's, it makes like makes it the syrup I don't know I think they use the same syrup in the hot drinks too I have no idea but a home never gets cold so the next question is what is the hardest part of starting your own fitness journey and vlog so that's sort of a, like I think I see it as like two questions. So the hardest part of starting my own fitness journey, my fitness journey has started since day one when I came out of my mom's womb. Uh, I've always struggled with my weight. Weight has been something I've literally struggled with since I came out of the womb. I mean, I wasn't like a big kid when I was a baby. So when I was younger, I just, I've started I started gaining weight, I went through some traumatic things when I was younger, there were some deaths when I was younger that I just, I used food as a coping mechanism and that's something that I've only come to terms with in the last the decade or so is that I really used food to emotionally fill me and to fill the voids that I had not had that I was trying to fill. I think for me with my, my struggle with my fitness journey is I feel in a sense that I am a role model to some people with with being so open about my struggles and being so open about my struggles with weight that you know I feel like I said before I always have to be on and I always have to be positive because I never want to be negative to anyone and I'm never going to post anything that's negative or when I'm feeling negative I'm never going to post anything because I just don't believe in putting those bad vibes out into the world or to other people I think that's really selfish I just think it's hard sometimes when you you know when you're role models to people and, and you do have bad days and you just you can't even take your own advice I think that's that's what kind of is hard for me is that when I can't take my own advice that I'm giving to people but I do love my fitness blog I haven't kept up with it because I've sort of made my priorities my YouTube channel but I want to get back into blogging I really like the people that follow me on there it's a good group of people and it's the fitness you know the fitness industry is a is a scary place and there can be negativity but for me I've just found a lot of friends in the fitness industry and I've just found I, it feels homey to me it feels like people are wanting to support me and they want to see me grow and they want to see me learn and that was something that I've always kind of looked for so that's what I struggled with but struggling on vlogging I think for me it was just like learning to time manage so I work a full-time job, like a 9-to-5 job, 
every single day um, obviously not on the weekends but the only times I can film then means before work at lunch or after work and the only time I can edit is before work at lunch or after work so I'm focused at work on work and when I come home and then I, I could edit and stuff and I still make time for the gym I still make time to see my friends I still try to make time uh, to be with John so it's all about balance and finding you know setting your priorities what is important to you for me I've kind of been finding my own schedule and I've, I'm good on the schedule now but at first it was a little overwhelming I would either come home and I would just edit videos all night long until I went to bed and I wouldn't have a chance to go to the gym and I found that that was really you know bothering my mental health and it was affecting me in a negative way because I wasn't getting the endorphins that I do at the gym. Sorry my iPad. Yeah so just finding a balance is hard and keeping up with uh, a channel with barely any subscribers is hard too you know. You can't go on YouTube and expect hey I'm gonna get 30,000 subscribers in the first month that I joined like that's just not realistic that's just not how following works anymore i mean it's really hard to to grow an organic following nowadays and so it's just i guess being happy with, with the content that i'm creating and happy with the the limited amount of followers that i have and just i am passionate about making youtube videos and so that's why i'm going to continue making them no matter how many how, how little or how much subscribers i have so i think that's another component to uh why what i struggle with when i vlog the next question, I'm getting sweaty in my coat now. Ooh. Okay, the next question was on YouTube. Someone asked, I know you and John met through Snapchat, kind of, but can you explain the story more in the Q&A? Yes, so, John and I went to the same university. He's a year older, he's a year older than I am but we had never met each other the whole time we were in university. And so when he was graduating, he was working still in our town where our university was. Honestly, I don't remember if it was the town or if it was where he, I think it was actually back home for him. Anyways, so our university has a Snapchat account and students, staff, uh, people that are doing either like experiential learning, cool jobs, or internships and co-ops, they take over the Snapchat. They do take Snapchat takeover for 24 hours. They post about what they're doing. So I had my university Snapchat, but I never really watched the story. I just couldn't be bothered. But for whatever reason, I felt, you know, compelled to watch the the snapchat story of my university that monday or tuesday whatever it was and i was sitting on my couch and i was like wow this guy looks hot af i was blown away i was like damn where were you the whole time i was in university but anyway so i screenshot like four of his snapchats i was psycho because i was like i want this man so i screenshot it and then I was like, you know what would be funny is if I posted it on Twitter. So I posted a screenshot of his face and I wrote on my Twitter, who is this yummy guy on the blank university Snapchat? And so I posted that on Twitter and I started getting a lot of traction. Like a lot of my friends were following along the post to see if we would, if he would follow me back or to see, you know, if we would interact. It was like, it was kind of a whole big deal. And so... Um, I waited till like 2 o'clock when he posted his Instagram and I can't remember if I followed him I don't think I followed him right away because I was scared So I just had it but I screenshot it and then I updated the people on Twitter saying like I waited hours for this blah 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 But yeah, so I posted that and then Hours went by and I was driving in my car. I had the day off. I wasn't working that day and all of a sudden my phone lit up and John had added me on Snapchat. And I literally was like, he added me? Like, what do I do now? Do I message him? Does he think I'm creepy? Is he gonna block me? Like, my mind was running in circles trying to figure out why this guy had actually added me. Like, me? Okay. So, he added me. 
but he didn't message me right away and I was like oh my god is he gonna block me like did he just add me to be like hey can you stop posting about me on social media blah blah little did I know one of our mutual friends that we had her name is Meg shout out Meg she messaged John something along the lines of hey you should message this girl like she's really sweet blah blah, blah. and that's why he added me on snapchat so he added me on Snapchat and then I messaged him first and I said, so I guess you saw my tweet, eh? And then he replied back and was like, oh yeah, or something like that. And we started talking. But we just like hit it off right away. We started texting all day, every day. I even told my mom and like my best friend Lauren and all, all my friends, I told them I'm going to marry this guy because I just felt a connection with him right away that I've never felt with anyone else. Yeah, we went on some dates and whatnot, and one of the funny things is, is I just always wanted to tell him everything. Like, I wanted to tell him how my day was going, I wanted to, you know, tell him, like, what was going on in my life, how I was feeling all the time, and I was at Boots and Hearts back in the summer of 2016, and uh, me and my friend ended up leaving early, and normally you'd be really upset about leaving, like, a big festival early, but I was just so excited because I knew I could go hang out with John, like, sounds so ridiculous but I was just so consumed in in him I wanted to know more about him I wanted to know about his family I wanted to know just everything about him and so it's been two years since and it's going very strong and you're all invited to the wedding we're not engaged yet I'm kidding but yeah so that's how John and I met on social media so if you want to find your Prince Charming or your future husband you know check your local university's snapchat and do that there's one more question but i threw my phone okay so the last question is do are you going to do more videos about your experience with the ketogenic diet well i will i just didn't know if that was you know the content that you guys wanted to see or that people would be interested in watching but i really do want to because i'm at a month of being on the keto diet and i'm loving it i have so much more energy i don't get you know like the insulin spikes from sugar where your energy is like this throughout the day it's just a constant energy and it's fantastic i wake up before my alarm clock which never ever has happened a day in my life because i love sleeping and i wake up before my alarm so honestly, if you want to feel more energetic and you want to feel just, yeah, like all around to feel more positive, I would really highly suggest trying keto. But yes, I am going to make more ketogenic videos. I just have to figure out what, maybe like cooking or something, but I really am enjoying the keto diet. Okay, so I think that's everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for anyone that sent in questions. The video is already at like 20 minutes, so I'm going to end it now. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a Don't. My God. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content or want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Thank you.